Welcome back, everybody. Get your kids a picture ready because it's that time of the year again. It's the 10th annual Journey, Journey Preschool Pumpkin Patch, and it's all benefiting a very great cause. And this morning, to talk more about this event, we have Ashley. So good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for having us, uh, for being with us, actually. My goodness. Um, tell me a little bit more about the Pumpkin Patch this year. What can you tell us that's different from perhaps years past? Sure, this year we have a lot of activities actually in the patch. We mm -hmm. have um, a gentleman by the name of Ricky Pittman who will be there on the 29th mm -hmm. starting at 4 p.m. He is a uh, folk singer and a storyteller. He will be there to entertain the children. Um, we have Walgreens uh, doing free pictures in the patch on certain nights. You can look us up on Facebook and see all the different types of activities going on. And that's the thing, so many pumpkin patches perhaps going on across the valley, but you know, the one that differs is, is the one definitely in Harlingen because you folks really go all out every single year. Um, tell us a little bit more about how people can swing on by. How does this whole system work? Sure, the pumpkin patch is open um, 8.30 a.m. Uh, every day through Halloween, except for Sundays. We open at 12.30. Um, you can come by and <coughs> uh, browse the patch, take pictures, of course, and uh, pick a pumpkin. We have pumpkins of all sizes, all prices, starting at a dollar, going all the way to 75. Exactly. We have some, show us a little bit of what we have this morning. We have some gourds. Sure. And then we have the little, little ones that usually go for a buck or two, right? Right, right. The smaller ones, these mini pumpkins are uh, a dollar. And then, of course, we have uh, pumpkins of various sizes, uh, starting at, like this one would probably be about five dollars, mm -hmm. um, all the way up to 10, 15, mm. 30 right. for the larger, for a good carving pumpkin. Wow, okay, and so if people want to take photos, how can they go about it? Sure, sure. They are welcome to visit the patch and take photos. You're not obligated to buy anything. The great thing about the patch is it really is a community activity. I think um, that's what you're catching on that differs from uh, many other patches. But we like to um, not only use this as a fundraising tool for the school, um, but as a part of the church, the First United Methodist Church in Harlingen, we like to uh, offer this to the community to just for the children to come out and play in our corn bins, come take pictures. We have three different picture taking spots. Um, and like I said, Walgreens is out there um, offering free four by six pictures and they will take the picture for you. You can pick it up in the store. Absolutely. And you touched on the fundraising aspect of this. Tell us again what the money goes to. Right. The money that is raised through the pumpkin patch, um, and this is our 10th year to do this, uh, goes towards any out of budget expenses that we might have uh, for the preschool, like our playground, um, playground equipment, gym equipment. We've purchased a, a canopy for our playground to shade the children while they play. This year we're looking at purchasing listening centers for our classrooms, so that's very important for early literacy. Wow, lots of good stuff. All right, and where can they visit you folks at? Right, we're at 321 East Harrison in Harlingen at the First United Methodist Church. And uh, come on by. We can't wait to see you. Okay, perfect, Ashley. Stick around. We're going to talk a lot more with you about the pumpkin patch. In the meantime, we'll be right back with more.